Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan Knows Tech here today from techinform.us and I'm going to uh, perform an upgrade here of memory in the mid-2009 MacBook Pro. Now this should pretty much work on any unibody MacBook or MacBook Pro as the late 2008 MacBook happens to be unibody. Now today we're going to upgrade this 13 inch 2.53 gigahertz mid-2009 MacBook Pro from 4 gigs of DDR3 memory all the way up to 8 gigs. Now I got this memory for $295.99 from OWC. OWC stands for Other World Computing. Apparently this is a really big company in the Mac world. I'm pretty new to the whole Mac stuff. Um, so I've got this 8 gigs, 2 times 4 gig of DDR3. The, the old RAM, 2 times 2 gigs. If anybody's interested, uh, I'd like about $100 for it. So um, if anybody's interested, just drop me a line. So anyways, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the machine is turned off and unplugged. Don't just close the lid and let it go to sleep because it won't really wake up when you turn it on because lots of stuff is uh, stored in memory. Turn it over and then there's uh, about 10 screws here you want to take out. Four on the top, four on the bottom, and then one on each side. Please note that the top three screws, now the top uh, meaning that the hinge of the laptop is up on the top and the where you open it up is down here on the bottom. The top three are longer. I'll show you how much longer. Uh, maybe. Kind of hard to see there. But this is the real short screw, and that's the long screw, obviously. So uh, the top three are longer. Some of them, they kind of go in at an angle, so when you're putting them back in, just mind that. Anyways, once you get all these screws out, back over here, you can just kind of press and lift it up a little bit. And this piece is extraordinarily light. Well, you have this off, you might as well blow some dust out of here, clean it up a little on the back. I know mine was a little dirty the first time I took it off. In here, we might as well do a real quick tour around. It's pretty simple. Here's your hard drive. This happens to be a 250 gig, 5400 RPM. Apple's uh, MacBook Pro ship with Fujitsu drives. Um, I'm going to upgrade that to a 500 gig, 7200 RPM drive in the near future. Up here's your super drive. Got your fan here. The processor, I'm, I think, is right under this. Got your memory here, and then this is your battery. It says warning, don't take that out, and there should be no need. Uh, anyways, to to uh, to do memory, let me go ahead and zoom in here, get a better look on the memory slots. This uh, this laptop happens to use DDR3 PC3 8500. That's 1066 megahertz RAM, very quick, pretty much the latest in in MacBook or um, mobile computer. So replacing RAM is is actually really easy. You just pull these little tabs on the side apart from each other. Boom, pops up at about 25 degrees. Hold it by the ends, pull it out set it down gently. Same thing with the other one. Pull those apart, it pops up, and a little bit harder to get in there down at the bottom. And once you can, you might have to pull those again, pop up a little bit more, and just pull it right out. Installing the new memory is pretty much just the reverse pro or practice of that. Now there's a little staple in here. And there it is. You take your new one, and you're going to notice that there are notches in this memory. I put my hand behind it. This notch is going to correspond with a notch over here. So do your bottom one first, of course. Give it a push. And you're probably going to want to pull the tabs aside a little bit so you don't break it. Uh, but just push it down in there until, there we go, it clicks. Same thing with the other piece. If I can get into it. Might, uh, might add that Crucial Memory is very good. I think OWC is good. If I have any problems, I'll make another video in the future, but I, of course, don't expect that, especially in this price range. I, I checked uh, a couple places online. This was about the cheapest I could find it for, for, you know, for good memory. Same thing on top. Give it a push, and then push it right down into place. At this point, you can go ahead and put on your cover and uh, put all your screws back in, keeping in mind that the top three screws are the long ones and the other ones might go in at an angle. Putting this piece back on, of course, make sure that the, the hinge uh, goes up top. Then uh, just put it right back on like that. Go ahead and screw everything back in. And uh, now I'm going to boot it up, make sure that it does recognize and utilize all eight gigabytes of RAM. 
All right, so I just got the Mac uh, MacBook Pro booted up into macOS 10.6.4. And to check your memory, you're going to go up to the Apple in the top left of your screen. Go ahead and click on that. And then go down to About This Mac. Click on that. There we go. See processor and memory information for memory. We do see 8 gigabytes of 1067 megahertz DDR3. So this thing should really fly. Another place you can check is uh, your activity monitor. Go ahead and launch that. Free. I have 6.77 gig. Um, you can see the, the graph here, 7.75 uh, gig are usable. That extra 256 meg, or approximately uh, 0.25 gigabytes, is going to my shared uh, NVIDIA 9400M mobile graphics card. So uh, I'll let you know if I had any problems. I really shouldn't. If there's a major, or major performance increase, I will make a video about it. Um, I think 4 gigabytes, honestly, is, is decent for average work, like uh, maybe some light editing. Really, uh, Mac OS X uses a lot of RAM. For what I do with all the video work and, uh, and Photoshop and all that crap, I think 8 gigabytes is a, is a pretty safe sweet spot. So thanks for watching this one. If you have any questions or, uh, again, if you are interested in the old memory, which, uh, of course, has only been used and is being uh, taken care of now in this computer, uh, drop me a line, uh, Ryan at... Actually, let's, do, let's use a different address. Ryan knows tech at yahoo.com. Anybody can contact me there for requests or anything like that. Our website is techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then every Tuesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time, we host our live web shows on ustream.tv slash techinformus. So thanks for watching. Uh, once more, please subscribe if you like the content. Let me know how your upgrade went and uh, what computer you upgraded from, from what to what. I like to keep tabs on on what people are doing out there, <laughs> I guess. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.